Welcome to RYP TV. This is Pat Smaji, along with my girlfriend Hannah. We're getting ready to head out on a trip for two weeks to go find some rocks. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Our first stop, Soggy Bottoms MX Park in Sparta, Missouri. We had only planned on staying for one day, but after a quick UTV tour with Dan and Doug, we knew there was just way too much to explore, so we ended up staying three. They have 1,100 acres out here, plenty of trails for motorcycles, quads, and UTVs, plus a motocross track. There's something for everybody. From my experience on a trials bike, I really enjoyed the waterfalls. I never ever got to ride waterfalls before in a creek. It was a whole new experience. Pat taught me a lot of things and I got to hop right up them. That's so how you turn the thing. Oh, okay, so this is how you work it. Whoa. We didn't really know that UTVs could be so much fun. I would feel safer on a motorcycle, but it was a lot of fun. The potential for trials out here is endless. There's miles of creeks with big and small rocks, wet and dry, big hills, a little bit of everything. It's a great place to practice. I would say that's a big rock. We were just cruising down the trail when I noticed a sign that said Big Rock. Well, I had to ride that. And I made a new best friend. Welcome to Arkansas. Next stop, Trial Central USA in Uniontown, Arkansas. How am I gonna do that? <laughs> Ride the motorcycle. <laughs> I tried a 300 in the past, but it had too much power for me. But now that I'm on the 125, it has the perfect amount of power. It's making me love trials. They have a national schedule here for 2018, so it's good to give some insight on section design and get a feel for the terrain. There were some rocks out here shaped just right. It was almost like a skate park for Charles bike. Last time I tried this, that happened. Hopefully not this time. There was a lot of challenging terrain out here to ride for me and uh, there was this huge rock wall I got up that Pat helped me with. No, oh, yeah, we got engaged. Will you hear me? Yes.
That really caught me off guard and I did not expect it at all. Being in Northwest Arkansas, we had to stop by Bentonville and do some mountain biking. This place has it all from single track, downhill, pump track, even a bicycle playground and a trials area. It was a blast cruising around and seeing what this town had to offer. Trials has helped me a lot with my mountain biking. It helped me gain more confidence going over logs, going over rocks, going down hills, and even with the sharp turns. Of course, we had to end it at the Walmart Museum. Then it was off to Wilderness Rider Ranch, which is another place with endless trials riding. We stopped by Eden's Falls after that and got some impromptu engagement photos. Sometimes it's hard to want to work out on the road, but with Hannah here with me, she made sure we got it in. Always fun camping and kicking back behind a fire after a long day. We also save a lot of money on hotels. But cooking is a lot harder on the road. There are a lot of beautiful spots to see in this area, and it was a lot of fun going around and trying to find them. Where do we climb out of this? We're on our way to Grand Lake, Oklahoma for a gate trial, and I've never done one before, so it should be fun. The gate trial was a lot of fun for me. I liked how I got to pick my own line every loop. I challenged myself each time by trying to pick a different line. After riding so much soft dirt and slippery rocks, it was nice to not have to worry about finding traction. It was a lot of fun to just pin it at some big walls and see what the clutch can do. The grippy rocks were a lot of fun. We were spoiled by the traction. Riding with Hannah has been a really cool experience. Not only is it helping me become a better instructor, it's also almost like I'm learning the techniques again myself. When I see her improve and learn something new, I almost get the same feeling I did when I was younger and learning the basics. Where are we? 
Berryville, Wisconsin, checking out my parents' new house. I didn't expect to get much Roddy in here, but I was actually able to find some of the trickiest sections of the trip. I ended the day with a really difficult triple step. It was steep, loose, and angled just right to make me work for it. I was happy to finally figure it out and end the day on some cleans. Well, that's a wrap. We're heading back home to Wisconsin after a pretty awesome trip. If you like this video and want to see more, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and support us by buying from Ryan Young Products at RYPUSA.com or through your local dealer.